This is the ICOM ICR8600, but you knew that already, didn't you? Because you clicked on this video. And I have a feeling that ICOM sells radios by the pound because as small as the footprint is on this, it's a heavy little sucker. So in this video, we're going to just look at simple programming of memories and scanning through those memories. So let's take a look. Let's start off by looking at this part of the screen. You notice right now we've got it in VFO mode. That's important when you're recording uh, frequencies into memory. And that's activated by hitting the VM switch, VFO memory. You notice it changes over to memo, which is memory. That's for you to scan through your recorded or stored channels or just to uh, scroll through them with uh, using the dial C here. So let's go back to VFO and below that you'll see two numbers. One, the first one, the 01 in this case, is what's called a group number and the second one is the channel number. Now think of groups as being similar to chapters in a book. That, that chapter covers a particular topic and in this case a group uh, covers a specific type of signal. For instance, you might have aviation signals um, or frequencies rather stored in a particular group. You might have two meter repeaters stored in a different group and shortwave broadcast uh, stations stored in yet a different group. There's a thing you have to realize about this particular receiver is that everything is accessed by direct frequency entry or by using the VFO, uh, this knob here. Now, keep in mind also that this will tune from 10 kilohertz up to 3 gigahertz. So using the dial here to get to a particular frequency would be tedious. So there is a, we'll show you in a second uh, how you access a frequency just using the, the keypad that comes up on the screen. So. Uh, Having said that uh, the groups are like chapters, the contents of that chapter are the actual memory channels. And you'll see we got a channel 5 uh, men, uh, uh, shown here. And you use again the dial C to get to a particular channel. channel. Um, so let's uh, touch on the channel number. Doesn't matter which channel. And you'll see that it's, it's uh, I've named this group one repeaters and we're currently on a channel four, as you can see, but I can certainly change them around here just by using the dial C. Um, so if we go hit this group button, you'll see that I've already um, programmed, two, programmed and named two groups, the first one being time. If I touch that, you'll see that uh, I've got a number of different time stations like WWV and CHU programmed in there. So we go back here. Now, if we want to uh, start a new group, again, hit the memory number there, the memory channel number, and uh, we'll go into memory hit group, and you can see that uh, we've got a third a third one open here. They start at 00, 01, 02. Same with the memory uh, channel numbering. Uh, so let's say we want to name this one. We want to start a new one called UHF repeaters. So if I push and hold, I'll get this menu and also I can get to that same menu by hitting the quick button down here. So let's hit edit name and I'm going to go all caps on this by hitting that twice, that up arrow, just like a caps lock on, on your computer. And we'll go. first we have to clear what's in there. Somebody previously has put content in there. You may not have any content in yours if it's a brand new receiver, but this one seems to have a lot of stuff populated in there. So now we can hit U H 
F space and then we'll hit enter so now you see we've got that new group in there so that's group 02 so as long as we um, have 02 by using these group up down buttons so you can see we've got time on 00 repeaters on 01 and UHF repeaters on 02 so now in order to program a frequency into a memory location got to make sure that this again is in VFO mode so I've got my first frequency dialed up here 443750 so by hitting the MW or memory write button we now have a choice we can write to that selected channel 00 and let's push that so it now should have stored that in uh, in location 00 and we'll have a look here and sure enough there it is under 02 at UHF repeaters and memory location 00 okay so if we go out of there so let's say we want to now label this memory channel uh, with its actual call letters this is a repeater so we'd hit menu memory and then the quick button and in the quick button we've got uh, similar to the group we've got an edit name thing so I'm going to put in whoops sorry I'm going to put in the call letters of this repeater and we can switch over to numbers just by hitting this button and then come back again M M X and then enter so now you see it's uh, it's now named that particular memory location so if we go over to memories we can see we've got that one location that this was pre-programmed in the radio for some reason with some aviation frequencies but that's the one we just put in now if we wanted to clear out what was in that next memory location which is 01 I want to use that for another repeater so let's um, touch on that and we can see it's under UHF repeaters but it's actually an aircraft frequency I can hit uh, memory clear which will clear that memory location now the difference between memory clear and memory delete is when you hit memory delete you're actually going to take uh, that memory channel out so in other words let's say you have three channels um, that have been uh, stored 0, 0, 0, 001 and 0, 02. If you were in 00, 0 and you said uh, memory delete, it would actually shift what was in 0, 01 into the 00, 0 position and what was in 0, 02 into the 0, 01 position. So you might not want to do that. You can reinsert uh, a memory location 00, 0 just by hitting that button. But if you just want to clear the contents, then use this button here. And so we'll do that. We'll push and hold. And now we've uh, got a clean 0, 01, which is the second memory location. Remember the first one, 00. We have, now have a clear uh, channel that we can record in. So if, uh, if I now go back into VFO mode and I dial up the next frequency, which is 444.1, I can now hit memory write because I've, I'm in 0, 02 and with memory group and memory location 0, 01. That has now beeped and, and, and uh, I just press write to the existing channel and it says overwrite because that channel exists even though there's nothing in it just say yes and so now if we go back into 
memory mode and there is our first one we put in and now here's our second one that's in and then the rest are pre-populated uh, memory frequencies I should say that uh, that I certainly didn't put in so that's how, how you do it you clear you can clear uh, a memory location off and then record by going back into the VFO mode hitting memory right you can record over that uh, location so once again let's just um, see if we can give that one a name by hitting the quick menu edit name and it's V A number three and enter so now you can see that we've got those two recorded in that group so you can just keep going that way you can go in and either just overwrite this or or clear that memory location out and just keep adding your repeaters or whatever channels you're putting in there and I promised earlier that uh, I would show you how to uh, enter a direct uh, frequency by using the keypad on the screen. So what you have to do is touch and hold the megahertz portion, I should say, of the frequency. And now we've got a keypad that we can enter. I'm gonna put the next one in, even though I could just use the VFO to get there, I'm gonna go 444.4 and then enter. So now my VFO has gone over to this new frequency and I could, I'm not going to do it now, but I could go to memory location two, which is the third one in our, um, in this group two, and I could do the memory right thing. Well, now that we've recorded some frequencies into our various groups, let's go back to that group one which is shown here, and we'll hit uh, the VM button to go into memo mode because we now want to, to scan. So if we push and hold the scan button, I need to pan a little bit here so you can see that. If I push and hold the scan button, Notice it goes into memory scan and it's in group one and it's for some reason it stopped so I can restart it. Okay, it must have come it must have encountered a signal. It's going through everything that's within group one. So if you've got a, a bunch of um, bad channels that you don't want to scan, go out, go in and clear them out and it'll scan only those that, uh, that you want to listen to. Now there is a way of, of, of designating um, frequencies or channels within a group that you only want it to scan. That's called select and we'll talk about that in a different video. And then you can exit that just by going to there, pushing and holding M scope to get the full scope back. While we're on the topic of scanning, I thought I'd just show you uh, some parameters that you can quickly set here. Using dial A, if you turn that, you'll see there's something, doesn't stay up very long, it's called pause time. And right now it says hold. But I could turn it and change it to however many seconds I like. And what that does is, that's the amount of time once a signal is encountered and the scanning stops and it stays on that channel it this determines how long it stays on that on that particular channel now what that does is if you set anything other than hold which is out here to the right it will cut off let's say you set it to 20 seconds so if there's a long conversation on a repeater uh, it will still start scanning again after 20 seconds, even though the conversation is still ongoing and the signal is still there. So by putting it into hold position, it means it will 
stay on that channel until the carrier drops out and then resume scanning for other signals at that point. There's also, uh, if you just briefly touch that, you've got scan speed that you can set up. Uh, priority interval, we'll get into another time, but resume time, I got it set for two, two seconds. That's the time uh, after the carrier drops out that it starts to scan again. It doesn't necessarily have to scan immediately. You might want to sort of hang in there just in case somebody keys the repeater up again uh, within that two second interval or whatever interval. You can set that to hold as well. I'm not sure what that <laughs> does exactly. Probably means it stays on that channel. Anyway, that's it for uh, programming and scanning. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.